a light smokiness, but only very light. Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taster of whiskey.com, and today we have a Johnny Walker Blue Label here on Mac Ask. And this Johnny Walker Blue Label, well, I had that already. Here's the video. But this one is called the Cask Edition. Cask Edition, well, cask strength, well, right. It has a higher ABV, 55.8, and uh, a cask strength is defined that you are mixing casks together and uh, you do not add water for the reduction of the alcoholic strength and then you fill it into the bottles. I have no idea how this worked with the Johnny Walker Blue, the cask edition, um, because there is beside a lot of malt whiskies also grain whiskey and I have no idea uh, how old all these whiskies were and uh, which ABV was left in the casks after the maturation before the blending and 55.8 would be a medium to slightly high ABV which means that there is not too much too old whiskey in it. Well that depends uh, where the casks lie uh, which are then uh, married together uh, if they are the grain whiskies Industrial whiskey lies very high up in the warehouses where it's quite hot and the evaporation of alcohol through the porous walls of the uh, cask is quite high. Uh, sometimes the atmosphere is so different, so humid, um, humidity is high that uh, there's more alcohol evaporating than water, then the alcoholic content rises. Uh, so I have no idea uh, how old the whiskies are in this uh, bottle. Typically uh, there are tales that they are only the oldest and the best and one out of 10,000 uh, casks is suitable for the blue. Um, well a lot of marketing and uh, that also in this whiskey is a lot of marketing can be seen by uh, a small uh, text below here saying designed by Porsche Design Studio. So they are not only designing fast cars, also fast whiskey. No design for high quality whiskies. Yeah, um, more to say, well, uh, when I tasted the blue label roughly a year ago, uh, it was a little weak in the first impact. It has only 40. Uh, ABV and this is the old bottle. I haven't given them away it away. Um, them there had been a, a set with the 18 year old and the gold and, and so on. Uh, here is, is are the links. Um, and I had one of these bottles uh, in 2011, and there the glass of the bottle was green. So this was the old greenish color of the old bottles which uh, Walker, the Walkers used uh, since 1820. So they are older than typically the malt whiskey distilleries because the legal act uh, happened in 1824. So 1820, they were, since 1820 they were blending whiskies and uh, there the glass was typically not that clear as it was today. Uh, or not clear, colorless is the better word. And uh, so the designers uh, changed the color in the last five years from green to blue. Mm. So this is uh, quite consistent with the name of the whiskey, but I think it's, it's not authentic. Yeah, here we have a number on it. I said that all in the the other video. So here we go. Um, this is our reference where we'll smell and taste the new one against. And here we go. And this is only a, a frame, uh, nothing to open, just to pull out the bottle from the back. And uh, well, 55.8. Here 
Here we go. What's set here? A blend of our rarest whiskies. Bottle number 1392. And the Cask edition is quite rare and it's quite expensive. I've seen prices around 250 to 400. So really expensive. Um, the bottle is heavy, thick bottom. The blue is again visible here and there's a seal on it. No idea how to open this one. Nope. So this seal isn't working. It's also marketing. Yes. Oh. Sherry fruit and a very light smokiness. And here we go with the seal and there's established 1820 and the striding man and the striding man in former times went from the right to the left and today it's working from the left to the right why well most of the whiskies uh, is sold to uh, customers in countries where they are writing from left to right and therefore, uh, the positive direction is <laughs> from left to right, not from right to left. And therefore, they, they changed it. I think it's already 10 or 15, no, more, close to 20 years ago. They changed that. So here we are, 55.8, a little bit too much to have it neat. Fresh and full citrus fruits together with the sherry aroma present on the cork and a light smokiness but only very light. And if I have the normal one, well the same character, the same basics, oranges, citrus fruits, beginning oakiness, complex smokiness. <clears throat> and this is stronger, more intense and a very light alcoholic note in the back. So this is, well, it's on the nose, it's really better than the 40%, really. It's everything is more intense. So if you start with this one, put your nose in the second glass, it's uh, less than a half. After two, three uh, sniffs, then it's coming up as well. But this one is from the beginning, more intense. So just a little bit to bring it down to 50, not too much. 52, so less than expected, but yeah. A little lighter. The smoky whiskey, the lead smoky whiskey in Johnny Walker Blue is Kalila. And Kalila does not have this medicinal smoke, but uh, the bonfire smoke. And this is it in here. Oakiness from the back. And some maltiness coming up. Yeah. Hmm. What a wonderful dram. Full, intense, mouth-watering, 
oranges, sherry, smokiness, oakiness, little vanilla, a little caramel, butterscotch, even a little sweetness in here. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. This has high, high quality, and this, this is on the level of the King George V I had here from Johnny Walker. The King George V might have been, if I remember right, it's a few months ago now, <laughs> and 100 whiskies in between. Um, I think the Johnny Walker King George V had a little bit more of smoke. A wonderful drum. Mm. So, if you like Johnny Walker Blue, this one is a must. This is Johnny Walker Blue in every dimension better than the standard one, the cask edition. The cask edition is out on the market in normal bottles as well as in liter bottles in the travel value, but you have to look them up. So it's not that easy. You have to find them. Um, yeah, if you would like to discuss this whiskey with me, please do so in our forum on whiskey.com or in our vlog.